Yo, what is up YouTube? It's your boy Jack Miller kicking back with another video and today we got another one of these way too early NFL predictions but this time the Kansas City Chiefs. Now let's get right into it. Cue the intro. Alright, week one. They are home to the Texans. So, Patrick Mahomes is going to start off amazingly well, and they are going to take down the Texans and go to 1-0 and on this season. Now, we got week two. They are in Los Angeles to face the Chargers here. Um, now, the Chargers aren't that strong of a team, so I am going to say the Chiefs take down the Chargers as well and go to 2-0 and on the season so far. Now, week three is going to be their probably their toughest matchup of the year. They got the Ravens, and they are in Baltimore. So, this one, it's going to be probably one of the best games of the NFL, 2020 NFL season. This game is going to be amazing. Lamar Jackson versus Patrick Mahomes. Now, this stuff, can't make this stuff up. This game is going to be crazy, but I'm going to say the Ravens. Take down the Chiefs. So the Chiefs will go to 2 and 1. Now, week 4, the Chiefs have the Patriots and they are in Kansas City. So, Jared Stidham, I don't think, will be that much for Kansas City defense. So, I think the Kansas City defense will take care of him. And the Chiefs will go to 3-1 and one on the year. Now we got week 5. They have they are hosting the Raiders. So, look, Raiders went to Las Vegas this year. So, but the Ra Raiders did pretty good last year. Um, but I just don't see uh, the Raiders beating the Chiefs. So the Chiefs will win and go to four and one on the year. Now we got week six. They have the Bills on the road. So the Chiefs are going in to face the Bills. Um, Bills are going to probably be the team to beat in the AFC East, which is sad because I love the Jets, but... I just, I don't know. So I think the Bills are going to take one from the Chiefs. So that means the Chiefs will go to 4-2 and two on the year. Now, week 7. They are in Denver to face the Broncos. Now, I don't see Denver really chewing up on Kansas City at all. I mean, Denver's defense is, it's alright. It's pretty good. But Patrick Mahomes is just way outmatched for that. So I say the Chiefs get another win and go to 5-2. and two. Now the Chiefs host the New York Jets. Now, I was thinking about being a little biased on this one, but I don't think the Jets are going to beat the Chiefs. It's I just don't see it unless the Jets come out with a miracle. Uh, but um, I'm going to say the Chiefs take down the Jets. Um... And go to 6-2 and two on the year. Now, next week, they are still at home to face the Panthers. Now, Panthers are, I wouldn't say best, but I wouldn't say worst. They're middle, middle team, um, but the Chiefs are one of the best teams. So, I say that the Chiefs take down... The Panthers at home and go to seven and two. Now week ten they got their bye week, so they're trying to seven and two on the on the bye week here. Patrick Mahomes is looking well so far, looking at an MVP season so far in my predictions. I think he will be not if the MVP one of the top runners for it because. They're rolling right now. They got their offense going. They're 7-2. and two, So they have a week to regroup after that win. And um, 
Now, week 11, they will go to Las Vegas to face the Raiders. Now, the Raiders, like I said, did pretty good, but not the best. And uh, I think the Chiefs are just much, not much better, but better than the Raiders. So I'm going to say that the Chiefs take down the Raiders and go to 8-2. and two. Now, week 12. They are in Tampa Bay to face Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, this one's going to be a really good game. I think receiver core, it's going to be a high passing game. I don't think it's going to be much run game in this one. I think it's going to be passing after pass after pass. So I'm going to say... This one's also, like their Ravens game, that one's tough as well. But this one, I think that the Chiefs are going to beat the Buccaneers and improve to 9-2 and two on the season. So, week 13, they go back home to face the Denver Broncos. And like I said earlier... Denver has a pretty good defense, but not enough to match Patrick Mahomes and just Kansas City offense, for that matter. Um, Kansas City's defense is pretty good as well, so I think that it will be easy that they take down the Broncos and improve to 10-2. and two. Now, Week 14, they go to um, Miami to face the Dolphins. Now... The Dolphins are going to be decent. They're not going to be the worst team in the league, but they're going to be still at the bottom as they are in their rebuild stage with Tua Televaloga. Now, I just <laughs> I can't see the Dolphins beating the Chiefs at all, like at all. So I'm going to say the Chiefs take down the Dolphins and improve to 11 and two. So pretty much they're clinched. They're already been clinched. So. Week 15, now they got another one of their tough matchups. They got the New Orleans Saints. Now, Drew Brees is just going to be on and rolling for the Saints, I believe. And their offense, it's going to be the top offense in the league at this point, I think, with Brees and Thomas. So, I'm going to say the Saints take down the Chiefs in a high-scoring game. So the Chiefs will go to 11 and 3 now. Week 16, they are home to the Falcons. Now, Falcons, when they went to the Super Bowl in 2016, they were a super team. Now, they don't have much. They got Julio and Matt Ryan, that's pretty much it. And Young Ho Koo could be one of the best kickers in the league. He he's the best at onside kicks. So, um if the Chiefs get up two scores and uh, Falcons need an onside kick, they, you might uh, see a score change in that. But I still think the Chiefs will not lose to the Falcons and the Chiefs will improve to 12-3. and three. So now, Week 17, they are home to the Chargers. Now, my theory is that Patrick Mahomes won't be starting. Tyreek Hill, none of those guys will be starting. Even though they're probably going to have two weeks off. After that, because just don't want to get injured. Like, what happens if Tyreek Hill runs a deep bomb and gets hit and, or pulls a hamstring out, out while he's running that route? It's like, it's not worth it. You're already in the playoffs. Take those two weeks off. Get rested. And um, so, in this case, that means they are going to lose to the Chargers and finish at 12-4 and four on the year. And... They will uh, win their division. They will. Patrick Mahomes will be maybe the MVP and or maybe one of the front runners. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and uh, subscribe and comment down what team I should do next. I'm sort of thinking a low end team. Maybe I might do a high end, but I'm sort of thinking I might do like one of the bottom teams in the NFL. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. See ya.